like V-Lay, bro. You ain't got it like this. In my part C straight, big fur jacket from eBay. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. Taking it about the one. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. of anything yeah I think it's big boys up front that offensive line they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this a three-yard loss to start the drive they'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. here's Hertz to throw and that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much receivers don't really throw so much to the side but do that only the middle to them and now the DB's going to throw a little verbal trash their way. When they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for Philly. And even 60 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They want to zoom and pass that number there. Give them maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second down and nine. Smith. inside the 10 to the 9. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week, and for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction, and when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well. And it works for them. Swift is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the whole hard and finish in the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And 
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Two are getting it quickly out to Waddle. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Tua sets up to pass it. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. All right, say it with me now. There's a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty? Yep. Wiley. Oh, definitely. All the veteran names. You name it, has every move in the book and continued to get better throughout his career so he can make that type of a catch. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and eight. Now Tua. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. And the Eagles are going to get the football back at their own 17. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And some room to maneuver. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. And an eagle first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. left it's hurts and he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line bradley chubb came in and got him and not a lot of success to be found there oh you got that right partner because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield that's a pretty good play but if you've got to do it in your own backfield i consider that a problem that doesn't work too well Second down, here's Hurts. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting him there for the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. A front door, totally shut down by the defense. and kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. 
play action. They'll throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. An incredible play there. They do get good yardage, but they're still stopped. The yard or two short, and it's fourth down. Well, they have a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big time play for them. Nice completion, excellent gain. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, of that marker. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Hurt sets up to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he gets a little more than he needed. Four yards to pick up there on fourth and two. Fourth and two, they got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here's a second and five. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Once again, it's Swift. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. The man in motion is Brown. On first and ten, it's Swift. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Now a second and two. They run out of the gun with Swift. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. From the gun, it's Hurts. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, 
And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could... Now. No. This ain't the end and you might as well go and lay down. No. Make way to witness the heights of going up. 